Hey there, plant lovers. Ever find yourself scrolling through social media, captivated by stunning photos of succulents and stylish interiors? They're not just beautiful, they're incredibly diverse and surprisingly easy to grow. Now you're thinking about getting some for yourself, right? But where do you start? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Today, we're sharing our top picks for the most popular and beginner-friendly succulents. Let's dive in. First up, we have the snake plant. This classic succulent is super easy to care for and looks amazing. It tolerates drought and low light, making it perfect for beginners. Water it only when the soil is dry. While it can handle some shade, it grows best with a bit of indirect light. So, find a spot near a window and watch it thrive. Next is the Echeveria, known for its stunning rosette shape. This succulent stays relatively small and loves dry soil. Make sure to water only when the soil is dry and avoid getting water in the center of the rosette to prevent rot. And remember, drainage holes in the pot are a must. Meet the jade plant, also known as the money tree because its leaves resemble coins. It loves sunlight, so place it near a window. Like the other succulents, water it only when the soil is dry. Jade plants can grow into small trees or shrubs and live for many years, sometimes even decades, making them a cherished addition to any home. Make sure your jade plant is in a sturdy pot, as it can become top-heavy. Prune it regularly to maintain its shape and encourage new growth. Aloe vera is a popular choice in many households. It prefers bright, indirect sunlight. Direct light can dry it out and turn its leaves yellow. Water only when the soil is dry. And while its gel is great for skin, it's not safe to eat, so keep it away from pets and kids. This versatile plant is not only functional, but also adds a fresh green touch to any room. Ensure your aloe vera is in a well-draining pot to prevent root rot. The calancho is another popular choice. It needs bright, indirect sunlight and should be watered only when the soil is completely dry. Calancho blooms come in a variety of colors, including red, pink, yellow, and white. It's a relatively low-maintenance plant, but be cautious if you have pets, as it's toxic to them. Sedums are a delightful addition to any collection. They're resilient and come in various shapes and colors, ranging from low-growing ground covers to tall, upright varieties. These succulents are perfect for adding texture and visual interest to your home. Treat them like the others. Bright light and water only when the soil is dry. Finally, we have the African milk tree. This plant grows quite tall often reaching up to six feet indoors, making it a striking focal point in any room. Place it near a window where it can get a mix of sunlight and partial shade. Water it when the top layer of soil is dry. Be careful with its white sap. It's toxic to humans and pets, so handle it with care. If you get sap on your skin, wash it off immediately and avoid contact with your eyes and mouth. For more details about these wonderful plants, Check the links in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. See you in the next episode.